Okay, class start. So today's plan is uh, first we're gonna talk about string. Uh, you guys already know string, but we're gonna talk about some functions that you can use on string, just like some function you use for list. And uh, then we're gonna do some practice. Uh, practice about list and uh, about string. And for our next class, uh, I gonna find some fun project like a tic tac toe or some uh, Python game, so you, you can make your own snake game. So just bring up something interesting and uh, let you make actually make something, make some project with uh, what we have learned so far. So first. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. So, so quick review about list. Uh, what function I use to add item to a list? What two functions? Anyone? Um, it's, I'm pretty sure, add, it's add, I'm pretty sure, no, insert or add, and then append. So there are only two, is append and insert. Yeah, I don't, I uh, didn't know if it was called insert or append. Uh, insert and append are two functions, you can add stuff to the list, and add is not one of them. No, yeah, add's not on. Now, what uh, two functions you delete stuff? Um, remove, I'm pretty sure, or mm -hmm. and then pop. Yes, and uh, uh, how I know how how many elements in in the list? Um, sort. No, it's index. Uh, index tell you what's the index number for one element. So I want to know like how many element total in the list. Um, I forgot which one that was. Or the other way to uh, to ask that it's how long is your list. Oh. Now which function is that? That would um be len. I'm pretty sure. Yes. So it's len. So when is ask like a. How long is your list, or how many item is in the in your list? It's the same thing. So you use the len, so it's then it's gonna show you a return an integer. It will tell you how many item you have in your list. So and you mentioned sort. Sort is sort from uh, lowest to highest. And if you want highest to lowest, you just need to reverse your sorted list. So, and uh, we can find maximum stuff and the minimum uh, item in your list. That's, uh, you just you use main and max uh, functions. Mm. Have we talked about slides of code? Yeah, I think we I think we did that. So you have a list, and if you only want print like a part of your list, let's say you only want print uh, from the first one to the, to the half of that. So you're gonna have see your list, and the where you're gonna start, which is zero, then you have a colon, and tell where you want to end. Let's see if it, half of your list, you're gonna see ln my list, then divide by two. Okay, that's uh, everything about list. And let's work with string. <clears throat> so a uh, string is a kind of a list. You can see string as a list. So, Let's see. 
So let's have some example. So let's say uh, we have a um, message. Hello world. And uh, when we print message, print this message is definitely definitely gonna give us hello world. And uh, let's see. So string is a kind of list, so you can just access like a one. If I like, I only want I want to know the first character in this message. So I say a message, have a bracket zero. So I access the first element in the string. So I print this, it's give me H. So uh, what, what should I type here if I want to access this W? What's the number should I type here to access this W? Um, one, two, six. three, four, five, seven. Oh, no, six. Uh, see, it's a six. So it's a seven. I think you start counting at, as no, one. No, yeah, I started right? counting at one, and I realized no way you don't start counting at one. Yeah, so uh, you access the, this individual characters as. Uh, as an element, so inside that it start counting from zero. So if we want to access this word, you're gonna say uh, message six. So that's forward, and also it works like we use negative to let it count backward. So what's a negative number I should type if I want access W? Negative four. See, uh, it's oh. O. It's actually so. If you count backward, this one is actually negative one. Oh yeah. So if it backward, it's a negative five. So that's W. So if you count forward, start from zero. Backward, start from negative one. So uh, that's it. And. Uh, also, you can change this. Uh, let's see. If I want to change the first character to like M, so I can say message bracket zero equal to M. Then when I print this message again. Oh, it's a. Uh... Hmm. Oh yeah, this, <laughs> this, this doesn't work. He <laughs> cannot change the individual word, and it says, "A uh, string object does not support." item assignment so yeah you cannot change the this single word you will need a function to do that and uh, we will talk about that pretty soon so for example this one oh and you can check the word in your stream and you just say uh, if and uh, you check a uh, string is that in your text so the python will automatically check is this the word you type in kind of in your text so i want to say is a hello is a hello in this message i'm gonna say uh if i have a i want to check hello in a message so it's a pretty much like a, it's pretty much like 
the English like oh I want to know if hello in this message and if it does then it's gonna print yes I cannot do this so now this one as you can see it says yes here that's mean you can it's find the hello in the message but if we change this to the lowercase it shows nothing or we can just uh else so even it's a hello but it's because the first letter is lowercase and the python cannot find this lowercase uh, in in this message so it just says no so uh, that uh, that's a string something some basic stuff for string and uh, also you can slide the string just like how we slide the list so uh, for each string you can see so you can imagine this message is equal to since it's a list, so it's equal to H E L and and so on. So it's uh, so it's pretty much like this, you know. So your message, your string is, if it's a change to the list, it's pretty much like this. So it's a individual characters. Each characters is a saving the list, and the whole list become a string. So uh, in the list, we can uh, we we can slide our list uh, from like a, where you want to start colon and where you want to end colon and we have step is a is very like our uh, what's that? range function where you start where you end and what's your step so if I want to print like from this L to this R then we're gonna say it's a message <coughs> then we're gonna slide this so if we check this site where you want to start, where you want to end, and uh, it's a bracket. So we have a message where we want to start. If we want this L, uh, it's a start from 0, 1, 2. So it's from 2. And where you want to end, it's, let's say we want to end to this R. So it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But it's now including eight, so we need to add one more, so it's nine. Uh, we don't have to have a step, it's just uh, default is gonna be a one. So if we print this, it's a from, uh, it's from this L, the first L, which is the index two, to this R, which is index eight. And we say nine because it doesn't include where this ends. So, any question about slides? No. Cool. Nope. So, also, if you want to start from beginning, you don't have to this have to have this too. So, if I want to from this H to this R, uh, if you don't have the first parameter, you don't have if you don't say it where this zero, right that's a default yes it start from zero and that's default that's right so you start from h all the way to r and uh, if we say i want to start at two and i don't give i only have colon i don't give the end where you think it's gonna end it's gonna end at the end of your list so if we do this, you start from two and to the all the way to the end of your list or end of your string. 
So that's a slide. Uh, now let's talk about some functions for the string. So these are the functions that only work with string. All these are only work with string. And the way you can use it is you have a string, uh, you have a comma, then you see the function name, which are these function names. And then in the parentheses, it's just some uh, parameter you're going to use. So let's see. Let's go over each of them. <laughs> so first uh, is the alphabet. So, so, so these are just check is your uh, is your stuff like is the alphabet is just check is all characters are alphabet. So we have a hello. For example, we have this hello. Uh, message. So it's give you true and false, it's return you true and false. So if we print this, we say a uh, message uh, is uh, is alphabet. It's alpha, which is, is alphabet. And this comment, I'll, let's just delete this. This is not defined. M E S S A G. -E. So it give me false because it's not. Let's try this. Okay. So as you can see, I used to have a space between this. So if I run this module, it give me false because space is not alphabet. So uh, this message the alphabet will check each characters and check are the alphabet. So if I delete this space uh, and I run it again, it tell me true. So every characters each characters in this string are alphabet. So it's a check is everything or uh, stuff is alphabet. And the second is the lower. So that's me is a uh, return the true if all characters are lowercase. And uh, it uh, says all characters. It says all characters. So you need to have all these characters to be lowercase. So if we print R is the lower, we run this. As you can see, it's give us true. So uh, this hello world message is all alphabet and it's all lowercase. So let's check for lowercase and uh, if we want this to be upper <laughs> and it's give me false there's no way you can have this both uppercase and lowercase so if it's all lowercase then all uppercase can be false and uh, and the last one is check for are those strings all characters are digit so it's obvious this is not digit so if let's say uh if we have a string and it's all digit the data type of digit is a string but we want to check is a number inside it is a character inside this string are digit so we can use this function so we uh, we print it's a digit. So, but we're not gonna check message. We're gonna check digit. So we run this. It says true, and uh, all the digits we have here, uh, all every characters inside the digit are digits. They are numbers. So it's give us true. 
So it will take out each individual characters and check are they digit. So any question for these three? Uh, no. So let's say if I if I do if I do this, uh, tell me the true and the false for all these three. Um. I mean all this all four. So tell me, is it is this uh, message that is alpha going to be true or false? Um, true. Okay. <clears throat> and for this, uh, is lower is true or false? Um, uh, a, a false. Or false. Hmm. Okay. Then for this one, it's going to be true or false. Um, true. Wait, what, what does supper mean again? Uh, so it will check return true if all characters are uppercase. Oh, they're false. I think. Yeah. So we have yeah, false. Okay, so it be false. And what how about last one? Um false. False. Uh so, you spelled true wrong at the top. True. So are we all agree this is the answer? Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, it's all false. So we got first one first one wrong. So a check oh, is the a, space. Yes, it's because of the space, oh. and the space is not alphabet. So this one is actually false in this case. So, right, good. Then let's move on. This on the side. <coughs> so, so the star ways is a return true if string start with a special specific string. So uh, let's see. So we have this hello. And what's this hello star ways? So uh, message. Uh, start to so say, oh, okay, this message start with the, which is a, hmm. I spell it. stars, star. Starts. Okay. So it's a starts with, as you can see, it's a starts with. So just careful with the spell. And it, as you can see, it's false because we now start with the. So this message is actually start with hello. And we do this is true because start with hello. What if we do this he is also true because it's checked this to okay so it's always check the first it always check start beginning because you want you use the star with so if it's star with it check is this one match the first character you uh, gave that's true and is the second one match the first character you gave that's true so <clears throat> That's why this star with give you true. You don't have to put the the words that star with. You can just the, as many words as you want as long as it's match. So lowercase h. So is it gonna give me true or false? 
Oh, let's just come um, out. So start with lowercase h e for this message is gonna be true or false. Um no false. It's gonna be false because the first one is doesn't it doesn't match. Let's give us false. The lower cap capital H is doesn't match the lowercase h. So we have a star with so obvious we have a end with. So also we need this s. So we have an end with and they're just typing the same that's end with. So we're W from this second one is true. So second one's end with we end with this word. So if is it end with L D? It's true. Get, yes, it's gonna be true. So it's uh check the backward. So it's check this one is the equal to the last one is this one equal to this one. So it's a uh, if you look inside the code, it could be checked negative is a negative one equal to negative one is negative two equal to negative two. So yeah, that's a uh, star ways and end ways. So let's move on. So a uh, strip, so strips white space from both sides. So if we have a lot of space, no, let's let's use other one. So let's say we have a we want a user to uh, user ID. We want them enter ID, and I have a ID called Jerry. Okay, so but when I tap this, I tap a lot space at beginning and at end. So if we print this, just come out. Of this. So if we <coughs> print this the ID, it give me a lot of space. And when you do the uh, when you do the when you do some check, let's say, oh, is the uh, is ID equal to like if we have a if we set uh, set ID equal to Jerry, so are those two equal? Um. No. False. They're not equal, even though these words are equal, but because it's white space. Uh, they are not equal to the computer. So we want to, like sometimes we want to avoid this kind of problem. So that's the time we use this uh, strip. So what we're going to do is we have a user ID the uh, strip. So with this thing, we is going to delete all the white space before and after this. So let's see if I, oh no, I have this. So it's gonna delay all the white space before and after Jerry. So let's run this. Uh, user capital I. Don't spell. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, let's print out this. So as you can see, when we print out the user ID, the strip is delayed all the white space, but it doesn't save back to the user ID. So strip will delete a space, but it doesn't save 
back to this user ID. So it's all depend on you want to change this, your original data or no. So if you want to change this data, you can say a uh, user ID is equal to a uh, user, <coughs> user ID uh, strip. So this gonna uh, delete all the white space. So this strip function gonna delete all the white space and save back to your user ID. So if we don't, if we don't, if we delay this, around again, it doesn't save back. Interesting. I guess this doesn't create value. Let's see, this is gonna work. Around this, it's gonna be true, but it's still gonna stay back. It's interesting. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't save back to this user ID. It doesn't create any value. But at this at the same line, you can make this. So if we run this right now, it's a false because this thing still have space. But if we say uh, strip. Let's uh, use uh, let's we use strip to delete all the white space before and after. Then these two gonna be equal, and the, when we run this, it will give us true. And even we use this strip, it's not gonna change your original data. So your user ID still have this all this space. <clears throat> So that's a strip, it's a delayed all the space before and after. And there are also a L strip and the R strip. So it's a delayed the Y space from left. So it will delay all this space and it will delay uh, Y space from right when you use R strip. So it's all the space on the right, on the right side. Uh, so if I do if I do L strip, you guys think it's gonna be true or false? True. <laughs> Let's see. It's false. So oh. I use the L strip and this give me false, you know why? No. Uh, what's the L strip do? Um, strip white space from left. Yeah, so it's a delayed all this white space, right? So after L strip, it's gonna kind of like this. So, and do you know why they're different? What's the difference between these two? Yeah, there's a space. Yeah, there's a space after the user ID. So this space, so when Python checks this, uh, it's also check all this white space or white spaces and it's, uh, it's check, oh, this one have a white space, but this one doesn't. So these two are now equal. So that's why it's give you the false. So that's a strip. And uh, uh, we did a, like a enter user ID before and the, this strip can help you to avoid some message error. <laughs> so that's a strip and the justify will justify your message. So let's say that's uh, uh, print something, let's print. Uh, Theory and uh, I want to print. Let, let's see how much I spend today. Uh, 
how much I spend on food today, let's say 50. So if I just, so if I just print like this, and uh, let's have another one. So if I print, if I print like this, it's just print, well print like this and but if I want some more space between them let's say I want uh, 10 space we can either give 10 white space like this but it's, a, it's unprofessional so what we can do is we say uh, left justify so L just so that's mean left justify and inside that we see how many space we want to give uh, is actually just uh, leave give, give you I I will show you when it's printed out so so this also I'll just so if we do this as you can see it's give you the space but if you count this space it's actually one two three four five six spaces so why it's six spaces? Because even we see ten is give you is it space down here. So it's give you ten spaces total, and they allowed you to use this ten space. So it's not add space after this string; it's a leave space for this string. So this string actually gonna take a part of how many. Uh, spaces is left and uh, and this for stars for dollar fifty as you can see when I select them it's giving me a white space after that because we use left uh, left just five it's a uh, at the left and then that's a uh, one two three four five six seven at seven space after that. So if we use R just, which is right just phi, as you can see, this 15 move to the right side. So as you can see, I mark here, this our web white space is left. And the first, last time we used last just phi is use the left three. And right now is use the right just phi is use the right three. So that's a justify. Like some sometimes you want to format your data or uh, your chart, so you can use justify, and that's an easier, more professional way than just add space to the string. So any question on this? No. Uh, nope. Cool. So. Next one is a find and a replace. <clears throat> so find just like, like it said, we find the string we want to find. So uh, let's see. So we still going to use this message. So we print a message. Uh, find and we want to find which tell me zero and that's our first element for this string so what this find looks like which function we use for the least it's a similar to this find Do you guys remember? So this, so this find tell me uh, the thing, I, the index number for the character I want to find. There is a similar one for in the list we use for the list. What's a what's a function call? Um. So, 
Oh, so what's this? What's this function return? I mean, well, what's this result mean? What's this zero mean? Let's do the other one. Let's say uh, w is this character with frames. Let's give us six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then what's this? What's this six mean? What's this output mean? What's this output represent? Um, the W in Hello World. Uh, yeah. So. It's, it, See the output is six, and uh, right here I I want to find W in the message, and uh, which is in this string, and it's tell me six, and what's what what is this six? Um, six is like the index of W. In yes, so six is the index number for the W in the string. So if we print a uh, message six, it will give us W because that's index number. So now there is a similar function you use for the list to find the index number. What that function is? Uh, what's a function you use to find the index number in the list? Um, uh, every? Yeah. What's a function you use to find the index number in the list? Isn't it like um, it's index and then I don't know, I forgot. Yeah. It's an index. It's just called index. Oh, okay. So it is just index. It is index. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I, I was like, I was like, index. No, no, no. It's got to be something <laughs> different. Yeah, that's that's why people like Python is like very much same like your English. How you ask question, how you get function. Oh, all right. So, uh, like uh, for this message, I want to find W. Where is W? I want to find that. So the function is find. So as you can see, the find give you the uh, the find give you the index number of this the character you want to find, and also you can have a start and end for this. So if I want to start from zero and that's four. It can be negative one, that's me, it's not fine. Why is it not fine? Because we start from zero, which is this one, and that's four, zero, one, two, three. Remember, it's now including where you end. So in this part, H-E-L-L, -L, it doesn't have W. That's why it gives us negative one. So negative one mean is not fine. So, we can limit which part of string we want to find this character. If you don't specify that, this is optional. If you don't specify that, it will go through everything in the string and this W. And it's only find the first W. So if you do the W again, it can only give you the first index it's, uh, it shows. So it's pretty much like an index function we use in the list. So replace <coughs> replace the old one with the, replace the old one with new one and uh, let's say this example. So uh, we have a phone number. Number and let's say it's uh, give some random number. So this is a phone number, but no, uh, let's say this is user input phone number. 
And normally we have a, a dash between this white space. So pretty much we want to replace this white space into dash. So we're gonna use a phone number uh, replace. So as you can see, the first one is gonna be your old character and the second one is gonna be new character. So if I want to replace this white space into dash, what's the first one I should to type? All right, show you this one. So the first one you're gonna see uh, colon and the white space. So it show, oh, I want to find all the white space in this uh, phone number. Then I want to replace uh, the dash. And, uh, that's a old one and replace as a new one. So if we comment all this too, around this, as you can see, uh, this phone number is used to white space, and right now our output have this dash. So it replace all the white space into dash. And uh, let's say we only want to replace the first one. Around this, it's only replace the first one. So the third option is a number, and uh, it's just allowed you to specify the number of accuracy to replace. So if we do two, we do two is do twice. It's not do the second one, it's just do twice. So if we see one, it's not only gonna do one. So any question about this, uh, find and replace? Uh, no. Okay. So let's look at this example. So right here, uh, we have a user to enter email. So the user going to enter email, let's see. The user input going to be uh, at, uh, at gmail. Okay. So this one, we just want, this is a valid email so we have a, a email name and add where this from gm G, G, where it is from and you have star.com so first we just want to do some easy check so uh so the easy check is that's mean it's have to have an at and then we have this dot sign after that so in this case if we have uh, at, uh, at lab com or CN. So this is also valid, uh, valid email in this case is because it's also have at and have a dot sign after that, even though it's not, it doesn't a real is not a real email you can use in the real life but we just want to uh, try this test this so first we we want to find index of this at so first we find this at so let's use this example tell me what's this at gonna be or what's the value of this at Um, 
What? That scared me. That scared me. So. Very scared. <laughs> again, what's it, what's this find do? What's this find return? What, what's this find give you? Be quiet, Jordy. Mom, can you tell him to be quiet? Jordy. So this find ad will give you the index of this ad, right? So what's the index of this ad? Uh, four. Yes. So right here, uh, your ad is equal to four, right? So second, then we want to find where this dot where this dot is, or we're gonna check is there any dot after this at. So we also use find, we're trying to find this dot and where we want to start, we want to start where this at is. So it's actually in this case, is actually equal to uh, find dot comma four and uh, as we see here your find function oh did not see that you can specify that so your find function uh, will have where this start and where this where this end so i want to find this start from where this at is so as long as this dot is after at, this is a valid email. So, so that's first we find this uh, where the index of this at, and then we find is there any dot after this? Uh, if there are no dot, no this no dot is gonna be negative one. So we have if if at is equal to negative one that means if this if we don't have any at in the email or a dot equal to negative one which means we don't have any dot after this uh at and it's gonna print is invalid and else let's see We're gonna say it's valid. Uh, I think I didn't talk about an and or, <clears throat> so I just quick mention this here. So, uh, an is or is uh, most of the time you use for this uh, this call. Mm. You want to check something is true or false, so it's it's always used with some conditions so you have a condition one and condition two so let's say if you have a and b and a or b so and is true when both a and b are true so a is true and b is true then this condition is true and uh, it's only and uh, only and and only if they both are true, and this is true. So if we have a uh, A is false, B is true, then the result's gonna be false. So let's see if we give a. Uh, so let's see if this one is true, and. B is true, what's the result? The result can be true. So if true and true is give you true. So if we have a false and true, it will give you false. And true and false. 
it give you false and the false and false is obviously false so and when you use and is a uh, is true only and if and only if the both are true so any question on this uh, no no cool so or is the only you just need to have one to be true so we will have true and false i mean true true is obviously true if they're both true they're both true so if we have true or false it's gonna give you false i'm oh, sorry it's gonna give wait it's gonna give you true if we have a false and true it's give you true and if the false and the false give you false so or you just need to have one to be true then it's gonna be true so let's come out of this Uh, so it's easy way to remember this and you have to have both are true to be true or you just need a one to be true then your result can be true okay let's uh, then come back to this saying if we run this enter email let's just try this email right here uh, okay, paste this are valid because it's at and they have a dot so if we run again so uh, task it's uh, at no the dot at at the say that's not valid so we should use and here so test the uh, at what the uh, cn interesting why is this give me value Uh, you spelled you spelled valid wrong. V a l i d. Yeah, but oh yeah, I have a dot right here. That's why it's valid. So let's try again. Have a yeah, yeah. list yeah. dot at what? Still give me. It should be all. We, we are checking this is an invalid so this is all so we have list dot at invalid so right here we check is invalid so that's why we use all so if one of this condition is is true that's me if one of this does not exist is invalid that's why we use all here <coughs> Any question about this? No. In the, in the program? No. So, yeah, again, and is you both true is true, or is uh, you have a one true, one false, uh, or is it you only need to have one true, then your result can be true. And just don't get confused, like a true and a false is not true for for the whole problem it's just uh, if you want something after for loop to be wrong then you need to pick the right and or and or or to you just pick the right condition for that it's kind of hard to explain this sometimes you get confused but it's, it's need to practice 
Okay, so it's four seven. Uh, let's take a five minute, five minute break. Let's come back at four fifteen. Um, okay. okay. All right.
Okay, are you guys here? Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> are you there? Every. Uh, Avery, are you there? All right. <laughs> so yeah, let's just do one more example about and and or, and uh, we will do some practice. Cool. <laughs> you like practice more, huh? <laughs> so uh, right here, I have a hat height which is ninety, uh, weight is eighty-seven, and uh, uh, we say. Uh, if height is less equal to 90 and weight less than 60, we print it will fit. Otherwise, we print it is not fit. So, which one is going to print? So, let's do this. The height less than 90 is true or false? Um... False. Uh, what's the height is? What's the value of height? Uh, 90. So is a 90 less equal than 90? No. Is a 90 equal to 90? Yes. Yes, then that is true. So less equal is including 90. So if you just less than 90, that's false. But since it's less Ooh. equal, so since it's less equal, so it's 90 equal to 90 is true. Okay. So then weight is less than 60. Is it true or false? Uh, what's the value of weight? <laughs> uh, that's that's a seven, and is the weight less than sixty? No. So it's true or false? Uh, false. So, uh, the first one is true, second one is false, and we use and. So, is this whole condition true or false? Um. False. So, see this end. So, in this case, let's just copy paste. Okay, paste. So we use end here. So in this case, a is your your first condition, which which is high is less equal than ninety. B is a weight less equal to than sixty. The first one is true. And second one is false, so true, false, the result is false. So remember, and is true only if and only if both are true. See, when you check the result, there is only one true, and it's only because A and B are both true. Okay, so what's the result for this condition? Um, it will not fit. Yes, it will not fit because this condition is false. So it uh, will not fit. So let's say if I change this to 90, and what's uh, so what's uh, is it is this condition true or false? Um, false. Uh, height less equal than 90. What's the value of height? 90. 
Is it less equal than 90? Um, it's equal to 90. <laughs> it's equal to 90, so this is true. See, we have a less equal. So this is actually two part. You check is height less than 90. Uh, so it's like a, either of this works, it works. So if a height equal to 90, that's, all, that's still true. So height less equal than 90 is true. Then weight, is this weight less than 90? Wait, that's weight greater than 90. Oh, that's weight less than. Oh, no, 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 never mind. <clears throat> so, our drawing is a uh, weight less than 90? Um, yeah. Then the first one is true, second one is true. What's a true, true? True and the true is? Uh, we print it will fit. It will fit. So, true and the true. It's true. So say true and the true result is true. So it's well fit. Um. <laughs> so uh, this is a, so this thing in the parenthesis is a whole condition. So let's say, oh, uh, you want to go to a park you want to go to a Lego park and your mom say yes and your dad say yes, then you can go. But if your mom say yes, your dad say no, then you cannot go. So they both need to agree, then they will bring you to the park. Does that make more sense right now? Yeah. <laughs> so. So and is uh, they both need to agree, then you can go to a park. Uh, or is uh, either of them agree, then you can go. So you, your mom say, OK, you can go, but your dad say, no, you cannot. But your mom going to bring you there. So eventually, you will go to a park. That's or. That's for or. Well, we're talking about or right now. So if your mom say yes, your dad say oh, yes. Will fit. Oh, yeah, this one will, will fit, yes. So this is and. As you can see, this is and. So first one is true. Second one is true. So the whole condition is true. So uh, Let's move on. Uh, I think you can learn more through the practice. Uh, let me present a window. Where's my text? Where's the text in it? Give me a second. Let me open it up. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, first one check the number is divisible by five and eleven. So this you're gonna use end. Uh, right now, it's a uh, just practice exam. So first one, check number is divisible by five and eleven. Oh. And you guys have a uh, use of function. So uh, right now, share your screen so I can check your what you're doing. Uh, should I Wait, check number? Sorry, what? Uh, check. Um, okay, um, let's say number. so. Oh, so make I make a know. function, make a function call number. call it just check number. Yeah. Check uh, check number. Check num. 
Number. Wait, who is it? Oh, it's uh. Yeah. Okay. I'm drawing this show. This show. Okay. So number. So first make a function called the check number. This simple equal number divided by five. <coughs> uh, Eleven. So divisible is a if it's a divisible by both. That's let's say fifty five. It could if divide by five. If five divisible. Oh wait. So I'm drawing. So yeah, check a number if divisible. Uh, so let, let let's do you know this. What? I'm just going to. <laughs> I'm gonna hard drive a number for now. Yeah, just hard code the number. Yeah. Uh. So how? So first thing about is how you're gonna check is a number divisible by five so if you have a number divided by five it will give you a different thing but you need to mod the number by five so if it's a dividable by five then your mod number gonna be zero right zero and then and 11 a uh, mod is percent sign. So I'm trying to make a function called the check number. Uh, okay. Make a function. Um. Actually, you can move on to the second one. So I think oh, this okay. might. So first one probably will be challenge for you. So you can try that at home. And uh, so try the second one. So make a list. Just make a list first. Uh, give a, a random number, but you need to have a number positive and negative. So you, ha you should have a positive number and negative number and just randomly give some numbers. Make a list. OK. OK. Uh, it's, it's not going to be in the function. It's outside the function. Oh. So you don't need this function. You, don't, you can delay this function. So that's for, yeah, you can delay this function. That's fine. Okay. So delay this function, make a list, like a number list. How you make a list? Uh, no, that's not oh, a way to. Yeah. Brackets. Yes. And it's a equal bracket. Uh, you need a equal b before your first bracket. Oh, yeah. Uh, what what lesson is this now? I think I think it's seven. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, probably seven for you. Seven. Uh, all right. Uh, one second. I didn't know. Don't run it. Oops. I don't have. I I never explained what number was. Number print input is insert a number here. Now we can run it. Uh, I'm trying to give some negative number in your list. Ah, victory. Uh, 
this is not divisible. Yes. Uh, go back to our code. So uh, this is kind of a special case for Python that you can access the, uh, those numbers in your function even without passing them. But it's not going to happen in other kind of languages. So for the good practice, uh, you need to pass a number into your function. So uh, what? So you need to pass your number into the functions. Uh, I know I know it's work right now, but it's just uh, it's not gonna work in other kind of languages. So like C plus plus or Java, you need to actually pass those number into the function. You need to tell the function which number you are using because they are kind of separate. So what you're gonna do? Okay. Um, so what do I need to do? So inside the. One second. Yeah. So you're doing this. So that's. Okay, I'm trying. Uh, find the largest number. So do the second one. Find the largest number in the list. So, go up. Uh, go up one line. So in the function, call the find largest number. Um, so what do I do? So, uh, so go up uh, to first one, go to your first line. In the parentheses. Oh my. Frick. So go to your file. Okay, I'm trying to make a function. Um, make a function. Uh, yeah. Called the find largest number. Okay, so average. So the first line inside the parentheses, type in number. First line inside the parentheses. Oh. In the sum. This call, uh, the same thing the. A parenthesis called a parameter is also called an argument. So go to. Uh, no, you just say you just say number, because this number need to match the number you use. So if you call, let's say you call this numbers, then go to the second line. You need to change the number to numbers. Oh, that was Jackson. Okay, then the last line. Mm -hmm. Go go to your last line when you call the oh, function. Oh, you input number. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can put number there. Or you can try to put other number. Let's say uh, you type in fifty five. Just cool. inside the parentheses, type fifty five. Just delay this number. Delay this number. On video games. Uh, delay, delay this number. So delay what you have in the parentheses. Okay. Delay it. Resist the urge. You're on a class. Say. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh, so inside the parentheses, the last line just delay the number. Uh, every. Um. Uh -huh. Then type in 55. Okay, then run your code. And try the 45. So say, uh, then go back to your code. And the orange run, so right now you, you need to find the largest number in the list. Wait, why would I put 55 here? I, I just want, yeah, yeah, I just want to show you. So 55, type in 55, and then just open your result. All right, so if I type so, in 45, I get. It's a divide by five. Oh, and so it, divide, it divided this one, not this not one. An, no, 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 it's a, so it's actually di divided by 55. So it's gave this 55 to your function. So inside the function, so if you go to the first line, that's number 
the value inside that number is actually 55. It's not 45. It's not the number you type in. What? Oh, so this is like hard coded, really? Yes. Oh, okay. But, but, uh, so what you type in inside the parentheses, that value gonna give to your function. So think about it's a two separate things. And uh, so you can call the number differently uh, in the first line. <clears throat> so uh, go to the first line. Uh, so go to the first line, just change the number, change uh, change that number to some and something else, some some other variables like a num, just num. Like that. Yeah, and the change everything, every number. No, no, just in your function. Whenever it says number, just change this to num. So number mod by fifteen, just change to num. Uh, are so in I the function. Yes. So uh, give me a second. Are drawing. So inside function, you need to try to find the largest number in the list. How yeah, to I'm find the? To find out how I can do it. So think about this. How, how to find? Wait. So, what do I change? What do I do at the bottom? So let me see. Yeah, it's good right now. So, uh, uh, check number divide. So last line, uh, delay that fifty five, and and type in number. <clears throat> okay. Oh wait! If I want to repeat it, I need that. There we go. Everyone leaving. <laughs> That's infinite <laughs> loop. <laughs> so, mom, watch this. Wait. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that's infinite loop. Just uh, close this. Okay, close this. So as you can see, uh, the net you pass in the number, you pass in the variable called number, but inside your function you call that num. Ah. So, so it's different variable name, but like a, at the last line, it doesn't pass the variable. It's actually pass the value inside the variable. So this is a pass by value, and. Uh, so inside the function you need to have the same name, but outside function you can pass whatever you you want to name that, as long as it, it's a valid value. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing for the list. Like uh, in the previous uh, example, we haven't you didn't pass the list. That's also access that, but. Uh, Start from now. You need to pass the list to your lead, to your function. Okay. So the second, so you can open the second question and uh, try to do that. Make a list. Uh, this list must have a uh, positive and negative numbers. And uh, do the second question. So, uh, <clears throat> Android. Oh, you want a function, right? So. Oh, don't don't use function. So no sort, no max, no reverse. So no you, sort, no what, and no reverse. Uh, no max. Max, all right. So you can use for loop, but don't use function. Uh, arm drawing. So so uh, arm drawing. You can use function for the least. So what's the least? will tell you the largest number sorry what function will tell you the large largest number in the list um uh, 
pop? Mm, no, pop delayed the uh, item oh, yeah. in your list. So there's two ways. First, you can just use max. It will give you the max value. But, oh. but uh, uh, there's other ways called a sort. So what's a sort do? So no, so I can't use sort or max or reverse. Yes, you cannot use them. For, so is it for I in range something. What do I put there? So you you want to go over each element in your list, then. It's going to be how long or how many items you have in your list. Two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, seven, no, eight. don't don't count don't count them. Use of what function tell you how many oh, items. Land. There we go. So uh, aren't um land. Land. So Andrew, make your num uh make your list outside the function. So just Ooh. select everything, all your list. Oh, outside? Bang. Yeah, you need the list outside your function. So yeah, uh, cut that, move to the outside. So go down, go down, go down. Yes, paste. All right. And uh, back to your function. So back to your function. Go back to your function in the parentheses. Uh, type in list. Or Wait, no. what do I do after I get this? Uh, you you can either print it out or you can just return this to the me. Oh, you use a function. Oh, whatever. You, you, yeah, you can just yeah just print print the largest number. Can I just print the largest number? Uh huh. So what uh, call this I? num list. So what you have? Wait. So would I just print i? Well, try this. See what you're gonna get. Remember, you want the largest number. So, uh, Andron, so you're in the parentheses. No, just... we printed every single number. Yeah, so that's that's me is wrong. So you need a you need an if statement to check is this number is the largest. Oh. Uh, so and uh, if so, Andron, in your parentheses, just delay that. Type in num list. <coughs> oh. But so what would it be if i is greater than then you're gonna print num list dot max so first if i is greater than i it, it will compare itself so it's always oh, so okay. so no 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 think about it so i uh, you want to save the first one into another variable, then you can start oh. comparing. Oh, okay. So then I will save. It's gonna be well, where would I photo. save it? But I save it at the end, right? So let me see how it. So you want to compare everything in your list, right? So you start mm -hmm. compare from. Uh, first one so you're gonna assume the first one is largest one at the beginning if i greater than f f equal i yes else like you okay, don't need else continue, really so yeah yes, so you don't need else and then so, before right here i need f equals zero Mm. No, if uh, if your first number, let's say if you if you have a, a all negative number, 
then zero, I don't have a negative number. I know, but there are some cases if your list have all negative number, then your large is gonna become zero. So oh. so you need to assume the largest number at beginning, the first one in your list. So F oh wait, so F would equal what? The first one in your list. Uh the other way to show the first one in your list. Use index. So I'm drawing uh -huh, that was print out, print out your print print out your max. Okay. So print sure. just print parentheses and max. Yeah, you just print F uh, come out what you have everything you have okay. above there. Fifty-five. Is it ten your largest? No. Oh uh, no, hmm. it's not. Where is ten from? Wait, oh, I think it may add it. Like it doesn't just subtract, it just adds. For I in range uh there's no space after range. If I if, no space after range. Oh. Uh, if, no. if I greater than F F equal to I. Try this. Ten. It's not ten. Why is it show ten? KJ. Oh, I I is a, I is a zero one two three. Is a how many item you have is not the real number at the index. So oh, it, I is your so index. I print, print num list. No 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 no. You, no you you compare the number at the index. So I is your index number. You compare the index number as that. Sorry, you okay, compare. Two digits, what did they print? The tenth number in the list? <clears throat> your print is fine, but your if statement is wrong. Uh, uh, uh. So, what, what are you trying to compare? If num list. There we go. That should work. Uh, it's not work. Oh, but no, it did not work. No, you, you don't print least. What do you want to print? No. Which one represents your largest number? Um. Oh, F. One second. I didn't fix that. Is uh. Ha 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 ha. Now I need to fix that and then fix that and that should work. Five. Nine. Okay, it's nine. Then well, what is nine? <coughs> Think about it, what what is nine? Yeah, nine is your actually your index number. So you got this. Uh I'm drawing so uh uh five. Ha work! Uh when I print it it says this. That's your uh, memory location for it your works. number, for your function. Ah. So, okay, I will remove on. So, uh, go go back back to your code. I'm and back at my code. Oh, no, no, I'm talking to Andre. So, you just move on to the third one. So, interchange first and last element in your list. Use a function. Use a function? Uh huh. No. So, yes. I'm drawing, uh, go to your num list dot max. Yeah, before that, see print. Yeah, and you need a parenthesis, wait, you need a parenthesis after your max. 
yeah, you need to close and open and close parentheses after your max. Yeah, inside that, you need one more. So one more, one pair of Oh, I need to interchange things. So well, just left, press your left okay. arrow key. Turn um, right. So go inside your parentheses after max. Yeah. And shift nine and zero. Okay. And go go down. Call your function. How to call your function? It's first and last element. Okay. Uh, you don't need to see print is already print inside that. So, yeah, you don't need to see print. Okay. What is that? What is that? Um, list object has no attribute max. Oh, closest. I want an apple. Um, so well, how would I do this? Uh, think about this. It's pretty pretty simple. Wait, couldn't I just pull the first and last number out of the list and then reverse? Uh, so like uh, you, you have, so your Couldn't result... I just pull out the middle of the list, reverse the two, and then insert the list back into the middle? Uh -huh. It doesn't have dot max. Oh, interesting. Let me see. Um, yeah. Have, uh, this is my define. My define is ASDFJKL. JK. Okay, if the max doesn't work, oh, it, it's a, uh, so max is a little bit different. So go go back to our code. Uh, aren't right? Yeah. Go back to our code. So uh, delay. Wait, so how would I do it then? If that is too complicated. So you need a, Give, give me a second. Just think about this for a minute. Give me a second. Uh, our endurance are just delete your num this dot. So before your max, before the max, yeah, delay that. And you yeah, delay, 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 uh, delay until parenthesis, yes. Okay, then in, in your parenthesis, in the max parenthesis, type in num list. So go right, go right. Go right inside My the parentheses. Name, Mom. Uh, go right. Yeah, in the parentheses, type in num list. <laughs> okay, your function gonna be called okay inter uh what's that called? In, in interchange. So your function name gonna so every Yep. Your function name is going to call the interchange uh, number. Okay, so it will be called ASDMGHJKL79876254321010. So it work? Is the A your largest number? Number list. Oh, uh, yeah. Android? Yes, go. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, I think yours work. Uh, yeah. The same code, try to use a sort. Try to do that with sort. The class is over and you want to leave, you can leave. And, uh, let me st stop. So class is over. Let me stop recording. Oh,